Okay, here is my uh, Peapotty One rocket stove. Um, Peapotty One is a YouTuber who makes rocket stoves. He's very talented and he invented this uh, kick vortex stove. And basically right here, um, you put wood right here on top of this tray. Air goes in underneath. I put a little bit of a kick in the, um, in the tray here, right there. And so what that does is the uh, air gets sucked in and it, it's supposed to swirl around and then hit this other kick in the rock stove which I just uh, beat down, heated it up with magic gas too and uh, beat it down for a little more uh, oomph. And the idea is the smoke comes around and it swirls so it's a cleaner burn and it comes up the rocket stove right here. So I'm going to test this out. I'm going to put it in this boxwood stove. I have this sort of setup. There's some ice on the bottom. But basically, you know, I like simplicity, raw stuff sometimes, and uh, that's how it's gonna look. When the ice melts, I can remove these fire bricks and probably lower this, in which case it turns into sort of a uh, rocket stove heater. It's like put a frying pan on this. The flames come up, hit the frying pan, kind of go back down, and then go up this chimney right there. And so, you know, it's pretty cool. I've cooked a lot of food on this thing. So let's see if I can get this vortex to work a little better. Okay, I filled this with some wood. It's kind of damp. It's actually raining right now. But for Christmas, I got this awesome propane torch and I tried to run MagnaGas 2 on this but it wouldn't work I think there's some kind of safety mechanism in here that needs the pressure anyway I'm gonna try to work on it some more but check this thing out basically you turn on the gas and you actually like come out and you just click this little thing here and you got flame and now it's like a propane coca buster and you know this wood is very, uh, it's a bit you know, damp, it's not wet, but it's not that dry, and it's just crappy little bit in there. It'll, uh, with this torch flame, it'll heat up so much faster, you know, obviously. And, um, if I could run the magnet gas on this, it would even be hotter, since the magnet gas is like the hottest, cleanest gas out there. And then you'd have like a, you know, this is basically propane, primary uh, rock stove coca combustion right here, starting it up. And you know, very little smoke with this uh, flame coming. Now we're looking for that, we're looking for the swirl. Let's see? And I think we have to wait till it is operating temperature. So we'll try uh, cranking it some more and then I'll get back to it. More coke combustion, blasting the fuel. Okay, just to uh, show you something, um, it's you know raining out, the fuel is wet, it's catching. I've got the uh, torch coke combusting it down here, primaries. And as you can see, the uh, the flames are a little less when I add the torch. When I take the torch away, there's all that smoke. Now here is a secondary combustion here if we burn it right here and I could make a better compartment with some brick or something but as you can obviously see the, uh, the smoke is fuel it burns and this combustor I'm sort of uh, cleaning it up there and there look at all that extra smoke combust okay so all right, I'm gonna keep trying to get this thing up to uh, temp now Okay, it's a bit warmer, more up to operating temperature. You can see the flames coming out of there. And there's a little bit of fuel pushed to the way back where the pipe is. So you can't, it's not getting a full vortex, but I think you can kind of see it's working. You know, when that burns out, we'll, uh, we'll see how it is. There's some better flames on its own. 
And of course you can use the, the door as sort of a, a uh, butterfly valve like in a carburetor to um, find that sweet spot. Maybe a brick would be better for a real actual door. Okay, we'll try a little more uh, coke combustion again. Crank it up. This will heat up the, uh, obliterate the fuel that's in the back a little faster. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's regular aspiration. And that's primary co-combustion. You can see the increased heat, obviously. Charring the fuel.